Hey everybody, uh, we're having a little weird training session video today. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm in a golf cart. And the reason for this uh, weird training session is that Daddy is a big time golfer and he goes to tournaments a lot. And a lot of them are in smaller uh, smaller golf courses, smaller clubs where he could take Nolly with him. And Nolly's really good at riding in the car and she's really good at uh, riding in the golf cart. Well, she's kind of good at riding in the golf cart when there's a second person. But there's not always a second person. So Nolly needs to learn how to ride on, all by herself in the golf cart so that she can go places on the weekends with Dad when he has his golf tournaments. Uh, this might seem like a really strange uh, training session, and you probably won't ever have to do the same thing. However, uh, it's also good for riding in the car. If your puppy doesn't like riding in the car, it's a really good way to get them uh, trained and ready to ride in the car and actually enjoy it. So, uh, we can see on Nolly, who is filthy dirty because she's been in the pool at my house and running around the dirt. She's just got a normal harness on right now. Uh, we didn't feel like... Uh, uh, spending the extra money on, uh, you know, the seatbelt type harnesses with the padding and the chest thing just yet because she's going to grow out of it in two months. So we just bought the regular basic harness. And then she's got this thing rigged up. I hope you can see. It's got some leash with a paracord thing here. And then it's just looped around the seat post. Don't lick this on. Uh, yeah, just looped around the seat post. And so you can do that with your puppy, you know, rig it up um, in your car. If you have a newer car, you know, last 15 years or whatever, they all have uh, the latch system. Use that. That's really good because uh, it is, you know, crash test rated and all that. Or uh, if you don't have latch or whatever, they make uh, doggy seatbelt harness padding things that go onto the actual seatbelt in the car. So right now she's chilling. She's just chilling. And I've got my cup, cup full of hot dogs right there, hot dog pieces. We're going to give her a piece. Also, the running around my house, uh, getting her energy out was definitely on purpose. I wanted her to be, get some of her energy out before we try to do this. So I'm just, we're just sitting here right now, feeding treats. And then uh, we're gonna start off real slow, I think. I think you can see her, yeah. So we're gonna start off going real slow and then we'll see how fast we can get. And uh, her still stay comfortable, comfortable and hopefully my phone won't go flying. So I've just got my handful of treats. I've got my clicker as well, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to use it because it's just, my hands are full of trying to drive a golf cart. So I'm just giving her little treats. Oops, we dropped one. I dropped another one. There you go. Give her a piece of the hot dogs. Hopefully my phone stays quick. We'll see how we go. Start out super slow. Nice. Keep the treats real close to her face. Keep her engaged. She's just chilling still, looking around. Try to go a little faster. It is a golf powered cart too, so it's a little louder than, say, a battery powered cart. So that's something else to get used to. And that, you know, same thing for a car. If you have a loud car or a loud truck. Oh, it's vibrating. You get off of this dirt alley and get on the road. Hang on, phone. She got scared. Um, I'll stop right here and tell you. If at any point she got scared, we started freaking out because we were going to have to her stop and get her calmed down and get her some treats and get her back to a happy place and then, uh, and then try to start again. Now, Anali's pretty, pretty advanced on the car riding scene because, uh, because she's ridden in a car every day since we got her, at least twice a day going back and forth from Dad's house to my house. And then, of course, we drove four hours to the shelter that we got her from to get her. So she had to ride four hours back home with us the very first time. So she's super great in a vehicle. She falls asleep just like a human baby as soon as the car is in motion. Yeah, now obviously you're 
we're never going to hit full speed with Nolly. That's a little dangerous and not something we want to do. Uh, yeah, but she's doing really good. She's doing better than I thought. Stop, because we're shaking. She's doing really a lot better than I thought she would, so that's super cool. Um, yeah, so if you have a puppy that's for maybe you have the same problem, you need your puppy to learn how to ride on a golf cart, or if your puppy needs to learn how to ride in a car, yeah, this is how we do it. Super great, super simple. She's chilling, she's having a good time. So we're gonna go the rest of the way around the block and maybe around another time, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.